All right, so here we are with our Icons of the Realms, the Eberron Rising from the Last War, pre-planted plastic miniatures from WizKids. Um, funny enough, I'm just kind of opening these boxes up, breaking the tape on the top of them. These three feel like they're a little heavier than those five. So I'm kind of wondering what's happening here. Uh, I wanted to get it on video that I'm calling it ahead of time. These are not open yet, but I think there's something cool in these three, these three boxes. Because this one especially... Wait, not, oh, this one here especially feels really heavy compared to the rest of them. So I'm betting there's a really cool big mini in there. So why don't we open that one first? Let's see what's going on in this one. Pop it open if I can do this with one hand. Could it be like the Lord of the Blades or something awesome? Okay, so not a Lord of the Blades. What is this guy? This looks pretty cool though. It is a cloaker. Nice. Cloakers are pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a mini of a cloaker. That thing's big too. It's heavy. That's where I was feeling it because that thing's that thing's solid. It's got some stuff to it. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of those kind of miniatures. I like mimics and that sort of sort of stuff. Cloakers rank right up there. Uh, let's see what these are. Okay, so in the rest of this box, an Iron Defender, pretty awesome. I really like the look of it. It's a cool looking little sculpt. Oops, I dropped it. Cool looking sculpt. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see that. This one really excites me. This human art, human artificer. I know it seems kind of, you know, probably just like, oh, no, human art, artificer, how cool can it be? But um, I played an Ebron game in 3.5 that uh, I played a human, art, human artificer who I really loved the character. I got him up to like 17th level before we quit playing. And uh, I think this character, this would look really, really good. I was thinking about reprising him in 5th edition and making him up maybe when I go to GaryCon in a couple a couple weeks. So maybe I'll have to bring this mini with me and uh, use this as, as my character. Last in this box is a Kalashtar. And look, he's got some clear stuff on him, which is pretty cool. I, I, I like the translucent stuff on him. Um, I feel like WizKids minis have gotten better and better as the years have gone, gone on. I think pretty much every single... Uh, set that comes out it gets better and better so i think they're pretty cool looking all right let's see what's in the next box this one was also a little bit heavier than the other ones let's see if it's got another cloaker or something else in it okay so good i didn't get a cloaker i got a gray oops man i'm dropping minis today uh i got a gray render that thing is pretty badass looking i like that yeah gray render i've run into a couple of these things in uh Ebron before there. Nasty creatures. Nasty, nasty creatures. I got a Lady Vol, who I assume is some sort of NPC or something in the Ebron setting. Uh, and I got a Tarkinan Assassin, which is a pretty cool looking, looking character. And then a neat little Changeling. Uh, yeah, Changeling, which is kind of weird. It reminds me of like a Two Face or something from like Mar from like D DC or something, which is kind of cool. Uh, so that's a good one. So let's open the next box, which also felt like it's a little bit heavier. Okay, so this has to be one of the most interesting boxes I think I've, I've ever opened. I have no idea what this thing is. We're gonna find out together in a second when I flip it over. But I want to take a look at it first. It just looks really cool. It is heavy too, so it was actually heavier than the rest of the boxes. Um, and it's it's a pretty solid piece. It looks like some sort of undead tentacle ball creature let's see what it is it's a corpse flower yeah that's pretty good pretty 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 close undead tentacle ball creature so that's kind of awesome looking now that's i haven't seen a mini like that before this warforge looks really cool to me i don't know kind of reminds me of like a medieval iron man maybe right and warforge that's the number number one in the set uh you know like a shield and sword and i don't know it looks pretty badass pretty, pretty cool um this one Kind of excited. I know it's weird, but I'm kind of excited about this one. It's like a little clawfoot raptor, which is obviously some sort of a mount. But it's always neat to kind of have mounts like this uh, separate from minis. So you can kind of have your people use them and stuff, which is kind of cool for role playing and stuff. And then last one is a pretty cool looking mini. Look at that thing. It looks like some sort of insectoid thing with some sort of magic stuff going around it. And it is a Calarac quarry. So that's pretty cool. So those are the three heavy ones. Uh, now we're going to check out the five not heavy ones. So let's go to the next one. Let's see. Let's see what's in this one. Okay. So I think there is something to this. Here was my 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 big mini, which was which looks really great. Um, it's a Valinar horse, and it's a beautiful looking mini. I thought maybe it was some sort of unicorn or something when I first pulled it out, but no, no, it's like a Valinar horse. So that's that. So that is definitely lighter than those other three big ones that I got. 
So, so there's that. There's another one of these uh, Clash Stars, which is cool. You've seen that one before. This is a Shifter Druid. Kind of cool. He's got like the claws on his hands. And that's pretty cool too. And then last one is this Karnath Zombie, which looks pretty great too. All right, so let's go into another box here and let's see what we have in one of the next ones. All right, so here's the next big one. I got an Ankeg, or Ankeg, or however you want to say it. That's pretty cool. Those are neat to have. Look at this guy. He's pretty cool. He's a Shifter Artificer. Kind of, uh, this one, very much in the steampunk kind of look, I think which is kind of neat. I kind of, and I think it'll also be good even if you don't use them for that, if I'm just using them for some sort of like noble guy or something, uh, you know, running around. Um, here we have a Karnath skeleton. See, I'm kind of excited about this because now I got a zombie and a skeleton and I think I got another one, another skeleton, but it's different than the other one. So look at this one here has like swords and stuff and this one's got axes. So we got two different Karnath skeletons. That's number 15. This one's number two. Um, I feel like I never get these out of booster packs when I draw random stuff. Like, I don't ever seem to really get the stuff that you would need lots of, like skeletons and zombies. So it's kind of exciting that so far I've gotten three of them. Uh, and here we go. Next next box. All right. Okay, now next box. Let's see. We got, this is the big one. This is a living spell cloud kill, which looks really cool. Um, I like the way it looks. I'm sure if you didn't want to use it for like a cloud kill spell, you could use it for some sort of slime-like creature as well. Um, I'm sure it would look, it would work great for that. Uh, so if you're not looking for the living cloud kill, I'm sure that's got other opportunities you could use it. Uh, this is a, another quarry. This one's got like some sort of like crab creature, which is kind of funky with the tail. Uh, this here we got is a little dwarf. Mage right. Pretty cool. Got a little, little mohawk action going on there, which I'm a fan of, having a mohawk myself usually. And then last one is an undying soldier, which they look pretty great too. So look, that was a good one. All right, we got two boxes left. Let's check them out. All right, second to last pack, or also known as pack number seven. Uh, looks like we got a, another living spell. Check that thing out. So this is a Living Spell Lightning Bolt. Um, oh, this looks great. That looks great. I think you could also, like again, looking for, if you're not necessarily playing Eberron where you don't have Living Spells maybe and you're looking for some other way to use this cool looking mini, some sort of like a Lightning Snake or, or anything along those lines. You could even maybe be a Water Weird if there was maybe water underneath that rock it was coming out of or something. Any of those kind of things, but something, I mean, that's a cool mini to slap down on the table. It's pretty impressive. Um, then we got a Shifter Rogue, if you can read it there. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then we end up with a Dolgrim. There's a Dolgrim. Yep, Dolgrim. These weird looking guys with four arms and two mouths and three weapons and all sorts of crazy stuff. And then a Dolgaunt. I think that's what this is. Dolgaunt, there you go. Uh, and there's that one. Some tentacly guy with a tongue sticking out. He's kind of gross. Might be cool to use for like a bad guy, like a main bad guy or something if you needed something. Like a zombie bad guy or if you're not, again, if you're not playing in the Ebron world, but just want the minis because they, they look good. All right, let's see. We got one pack left. Let's see what's in there. All right, last pack. Okay, we got a half ogre. So he's a pretty big, cool looking guy be nice to have uh, I got another shifter rogue so immediately I start seeing things like like this like a second one in a pack and I start thinking maybe like some sort of clan of shifter rogues that you know have some sort of secret society or something so I'll put that guy next to the other one uh, I got a another warforged so here's a warforged like the other one we got which was back where was he let's find him warforged 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 where I oh there he is okay so this is the first warforged I had right with a with a kind of Iron Man looking guy with a sword and a shield. Uh, and this one has a, like a mace and a shield as well. And a blue, with a blue, blue, blue cloak, but definitely different. 
Um, again, though, more Warforge together, right? Now, I, number one, there are not a lot of Warforge yet in the minis, I don't feel, so that's kind of cool. And number two, now I start thinking some sort of society, you know, the cloaks maybe mean some sort of ranking system. Like, I'm already dreaming things up in my head. And then last, I end up with another Karnath zombie. Oh, that's great. Remember what I said before? I don't really get a lot of those usually, so now I end up with two zombies and two skeletons which is pretty cool because, you know, again, more things, hordes of monsters. So here's what we got so far. This is just my minis uh, from the packs that I opened, completely random packs. I want to point out that I was kind of right. Those three were definitely heavier than the other ones, right? And they're definitely heavier heavier minis. This one was kind of kind of close, but those three were definitely heavier. Um, and now last but not least, let's crack open the Eberron Sky Coach, get it sitting on the table and see what it looks like. Okay, so here are all the pieces that I got in the box of the Sky Coach. So here are all the pieces. I forgot what to do with these right now. Here's the base of the Sky Coach. Here's the Sky Coach itself. Pretty incredible looking. It looks really nice. It's a nice heavy plastic. Um, this part's cardboard. The deck is like cardboard. But it's a cool little Sky Coach. You know, which I'm assuming a Sky Coach. I haven't played Eberron in a long time. I'm assuming a Sky Coach is kind of like, you know, an Uber for Eberron. Sharn Uber, maybe, you know. So uh, let's see if we can put this thing together. So here's what it's supposed to look like when it's done. Uh, we'll take a look and we'll see what it looks like when I get it done because I'm not the most mechanical person in the world. So let's see if I can make a big mess of this or not. Okay, so here are things all put together. So here it is, everything attached. So the cool thing is, too, is that these things, while very hard to put on, they took a little bit of work, um, they move. So like you can have them kind of like flap and move back and forth if you wanted them to, which is kind of cool. Same with the ones in the back. Like these can kind of move back and forth, right? They can, like a fin, kind of like move back and forth. Same with the one up top. It can spin a little bit, you know, and go back and forth. Um, again, kind of cool. Uh, so this was pretty awesome. This just slides on here, right? There's just a groove in the bottom. Uh, you can see that kind of like that groove in the bottom of the, of the Sky Coach. And this just slides right on the groove so it really it's on there good it's really on there good it doesn't seem to be uh like coming off or falling like i don't think this is going to fall off all the, all the time which you find some stuff when it's up on bases like like, like that if it's not a permanent base um like it kind of wobbles off the base and stuff and i don't think that that's going to be the issue with this so that's kind of cool you know if we have some guys up here like this dude here um maybe a clash star or something you know, and maybe a Warforged or traveling somewhere in Sharn, uh, you know, going on the Sky Coach. There are also these little do jobs here, which are the soar sleds, which I'm not sure what a soar sled is, but uh, I'm sure it's some sort of magical hovering device. They come with a bunch of these pegs which you can take apart and build. These are small little pegs. You can build them up so you can make them different sizes. So like I made this one was a two, but that one back there I made a three, for instance. So you can see that you can make them all different sizes, big, tall, not so tall, however you want to do them. So soar sleds, I assume there's some sort of magical transportation devices to maybe, you know, get people onto the sleds or, you know, whatever. If we put a bunch of minis up here, the minis set right on top of them, which is kind of neat, I think. So, you know, maybe this guy can kind of soar over here and you know land right there and then just hop off and get right on the on the sled that's my dude it's my guy i'm going to make right right there i'm going to use that mini uh but you know or you can hop on the soar soar sled and you know kind of fly off if you want to i guess you could do all that kind of stuff the other thing it has is these two things here so it has like a gangplank which if you see there's these little notches so if we had another one of these or something you can put a plank and it can attach right on there, right? And it could go to uh, a building. It could go to another one, another sky coach or something if you wanted it to, something along those lines. Or you have a ladder, which does the exact same thing, right? The ladder just attaches right in there. Boom, there's the ladder, attaches right to the side, goes right down to the ground when it's on this peg. Um, so there, people can climb, climb right down. So that's what we got here. We got the Eberron Sky Coach set. Which, again, looks pretty great. Um, can't wait to actually put this thing on a table and try playing with it. That looks great. And then on top of that, we had eight packs of the Eberron uh, Dawn of the Last War, Rising of the Last Last War uh, minis. There we go. There's all of them.
and they all look pretty cool. I like them. I'm really, I'm really a fan of the, of the, of the living spells. Find a way to use them, even if not as living spells. Where's the other one back here? Uh, make them, maybe find them and use them as something else if I can. Uh, until we get to the Eberron game, then maybe we'll have some living spells run, running around. So, all of this is by Wiz, Wiz Kids. Another home home run. Uh, if you haven't seen my video yet of the Falling Star sailing ship, I have. I was one of the first people in the world to get the Falling Star sailing ship. My video is up on my YouTube channel, uh, and you should check that video out too. It's pretty pretty cool. It gives you a good in depth look at the Falling Star sailing ship. So this is all stuff from Wiz Kids pre painted minis, pre painted Eberron Sky Sky Coach. And as always, guys, please uh, follow me on Instagram at the Arthur of Gaming. Uh, follow me on uh, you, YouTube. Uh, get, you know, subscribe to my channel, like this video, etc. I have more stuff up on my YouTube channel, and I'm going to continue to put up content. So keep checking it out. All right, guys, t- take care.